With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Two aeroplanes, one and two, bomb a target in succession. The probabilities of one and two scoring a hit correctly are 0.3 and 0.2 respectively. So first of all understand these two lines. There are two planes, plane 1 and plane 2. They bomb a target. The most important word is in succession. Means, first of all, the first plane will bomb on the target and after the first plane, second plane will bomb on the target. Now, the next line. The probabilities of 1 and 2 scoring a hit correctly are 0.3 and 0.2. Means, the probability of hitting the target by plane 1 is 0.3 and the probability that the uh, that the plane 2 hit the target is 0.2. Now, next line, the plane, the second plane will bomb only if the first misses the target. Now, this is the most important line. What it says, it says that the plane 2 will bomb on the target only when the first plane misses the target. If the first plane doesn't miss the target, plane 2 will not bomb on the target. Now, what is asked in the question? The probability that the target is hit by the second plane is. Now, this line has a significant meaning. So, what is asked in the question, I am writing it in a simple manner. Okay. We are asked that probability, probability that the target is hitten and is hitten by the plane 2. This is asked in the question. This, the, the probability of this event is asked in the question. It means that the target is already hitten and it is hitten by plane 2. Its probability we have to find out. Okay. We have to find out the probability of which event. We have to find the probability of event that the target is hidden and is hidden by the plane 2. This thing we have to find out. And the given thing is what? See here. Click carefully. Probability of hitting the target. by plane 2 by plane 2 is equals to 0 0.2 this is the given information the probability of this event is given and the probability of this event is asked so carefully see these two events are different this event is different from this event so now proceed with the question solution see here probability of probability of hitting the target by plane 1 by plane 1 I am representing it with P1 is equals to point it is given in the question. See here. The probabilities of 1 and 2 scoring a hit correctly are 0.3 and 0.2 respectively. So, probability of hitting the target by plane 1 is 0.3. It is given in the question. Now, see one concept here. Prob sum of probabilities of happening and event and probability of not happening the same event is equals to 1. Okay. What this line says? Probability of happening an event plus probability of not happening an event is equals to 1. So, I am applying this concept to this event, my probability of hitting the target by plane 1. Okay. So, I need to find probability of 
not hitting the target by plane 2 by plane sorry plane 1 by plane 1 i am representing it with p1 dash is equals to 1 minus 0 0.3 which is equals to 0 0.7 see how it comes okay now i i will apply this same concept okay now see here probability of hitting the target by plane 1 plus probability of not hitting the target by plane 1 is equals to 1 see here p1 is probability of hitting the target by plane 1 and p1 dash is probability of not hitting the target by plane 1 which is equals to 1 so what is the value of p1 the value of p1 is 0 0.3 it is given in the question it is given in the question now see plus p1 dash which is equals to 1 now p1 dash is equals to 1 minus 0 0.3 which is equals to 0 0.7 okay now the same thing i will do with the plane 2 now see probability probability of hitting the target by plane 2 is equal to sorry first of all i will represent it with p2 okay probability of hitting the target by plane 2 is p2 is equals to 0 0.2 it is given in the question see here it is given in the question the probabilities of 1 and 2 is scoring a hit correctly are 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 okay so probability of hitting the target by plane 2 is 0 0.2 on the same grounds which i have calculated for plane 1 i will calculate here also probability of not hitting the target by plane 2 I am representing it with p2 dash is equals to 1 minus 0 0.2 which is equals to 0 0.8 see how it comes probability of hitting the target by plane 2 plus probability of not hitting the target by plane 2 is equals to 1 what is the value of p2 it is 0 0.2 plus p2 dash is equals to 1 p2 dash is equals to 1 minus 0 0.2 which is equals to 0 0.8 so from here this 0 0.8 has came now proceeding further what i have to find in the question now i am writing that i have to find probability that the target is hidden and is hidden by the plane 2 okay so the meaning of this line is the probability that the target is hit by the second plane is this okay so i need to find this thing the probability that the target is hit by the second plane is now i am writing this thing now the probability the probability that the see once again the line of the question the probability that the target hit the target is that the target is hit by the second plane now see what are the possibilities to occur this event okay this is my event now the probability that the target is hit by the second plane this is my event now what are the possibilities for this event see here in the first attempt plane 1 will miss the target okay so what is the probability of missing the target by plane 1 is p1 dash 
in the first attempt now after missing the target by plane 1 plane 2 will bomb on the target now let us consider that the plane 2 has hit the target so what is the probability of hitting the target by plane 2 is p2 now this is the first pos possibility now, other possibility is plus the target is missed by the plane 1 okay in the first attempt and the target is also missed by the plane 2 in the first attempt so i am writing it is p2 dash now in the second attempt target is missed by the first plane in the second attempt target is hit by the plane 2 see these two line uh, these two things this what i have written this in the first attempt plane 1 has missed the target now after plane 1 has missed the target the plane 2 has bomb on the target and plane 2 has hit the target this is my first possibility now what is other possibility see here this is my second possibility in the first attempt plane 1 has missed the target in the after missing the target by plane 1 plane 2 will bomb on the target now the target is missed by the plane 2 also in the first attempt now see here in the second attempt also plane 1 has missed the target now after missing the target by plane 1 plane 2 will bomb on the target and plane 2 has hit the target so i have written here it is p2 now what is the other possibility see in the first attempt plane 1 has missed the target in the first attempt plane 2 has missed the target in the second attempt plane 1 has missed the target in the second attempt plane 2 has missed the target in the third attempt plane 1 has missed the target and in the third attempt plane 2 has hit the target and these things will go on continuously okay these things will go on continuously now i am writing the values of all these things what is the value of p1 dash p1 dash is 0.7 i think here it is calculated see once again ah, okay p1 dash is 0.7 so write the value of p1 dash what is the value of p1 dash it is 0 0.7 multiplied by p2 what is the value of p2 p2 is given in the question it is 0.2 okay 0.2 here see it is 0.2 the value of p2 is 0.2 plus what is the value of p1 dash p1 dash is 0 0.7 what is the value of p2 dash it is 0 0.8 multiply by 0 0.8 what is the value of p1 dash it is 0 0.7 and what is the value of p2 it is 0 0.2 plus what is the value of p1 dash it is 0 0.7 what is the value of p2 dash it is 0 0.8 what is the value of p1 dash it is 0 0.7 p2 dash it is 0 0.8 p1 dash it is 0 0.7 and p2 it is 0 0.2 and these things will go on continuously up to infinity now taking 0 0.7 and 0 0.2 common from each term so after taking 0 0.7 and 0 0.2 common i am left with 1 in the first term plus what is left in the second term i have i have been left with 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 plus in the third term 0.7 into 0.8, 0.7 into 0.8, okay, 0 0.7 into 0.8 multiply by 0 0.7 multiply by 0 0.8 and it will go on continuously up to infinity. Now see, carefully observe this series, this series, carefully observe this, on observing this series, I found that this is a GP. Now see. this is a gp so 0.7 into 0.2 for finding which type of series it is just divide this second term by this first term and this third term by this second term so on dividing second term by first term what i will get 0.7 divided by 0.8 divided by 1 is equals to 0.56 on dividing third term by second term 0.7 multiply by 0 0.8 multiply by 0 0.7 multiply by 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.7 multiply by 0 0.8 so 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 will get cancel out 
here and here so what is left it is 0 0.56 so when the when the when, uh, when dividing the two successive terms we get the same quotient then the series is a gp so while dividing this term third term by the second term i have get 10.56 and while dividing with while dividing the second term by this first term i have got this 0.56 okay so this is uh, both the times the quotient is same so this is a gp now and this is an infinite gp because it is come going up to infinity so it is a infinite gp infinite gp and i have to find the sum of this infinite gp so what is the sum of infinite gp here i am writing sum of infinite gp is equals to first term divided by 1 minus common difference now in this gp my common difference is what r is equals to 0 0.56 and what is my first term a is equals to 1 so what is the sum of this gp a divided by 1 minus r a is 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.56 which is equals to 1 divided by 0 0.44 which is equal to 100 divided by 44 now put this value here 100 divided by 44 so the result becomes 0 0.7 multiply by 0 0.2 multiply by 100 divided by 44 which is equals to 14 divided by 44 which is equal to 7 by 22. So, the probability that the target, the probability that the target is hit, sorry, I have forgot to write hit, by the second plane is what? It is 7 upon 22. Now, check the options in which option this I am getting. So, on checking the options, option C is matching. 7 by 22. So, C is my answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.